Speaking also of grifts, uh, there was a wonderful story. Uh, a couple of months ago, I had Nick Troiano on from The Can Kicks Back uh, for <laughs> what would only charitably be uh, called a debate. Um, this, this story, uh, I honestly, gave me so much joy, um, and I, I know that you also expressed some laughter on, about it. But uh, it just the this is the organization that was sort of well the uh, I, I just tell people about it because I got a funny tweet from him uh, today uh, uh, in regards to our talking about that story. No, I mean it's it, you know it, it's it's Pete Peterson youth basically. It, it was it was a, a front group for the people who want to privatize all the entitlement <laughs> programs by by throwing it at, at at you know by throwing up the, the you know by setting the millennials up against their greedy grandparents basically. And now it's broke. <laughs> no. it, it spent so it spent it spent so much money fighting the federal deficit that it went broke. <laughs> there you have it. And and the uh, and the and the best part, of course, is that all uh, apparently they had accidentally you know these millennials uh didn't know how to work their google groups and they left uh, their all of their documents online for uh, i guess it was politico to check it out and um he uh he, he emailed me or he tweeted me saying that um i suppose straw men make better guests sam cedar uh the can kicks back has never been in debt and has never advocated Social Security uh, cuts. Get the facts, which I think is also their their tagline for the uh, question of the debt as well. You mean n never advocated Social Security cuts? No, they're advocating quote unquote Social Security reform. Right. And they're doing and they're doing so with the blessings of the Pete Peterson Foundation, which is about cutting Social Security and privatizing it, so Pete Peterson's friends in the hedge fund industry can get a hold of the trust fund. Okay. I mean, we all have to pretend a little bit in this business, but we don't have to pretend that much. <laughs> yes. And uh, the, the best was, is I think it was an email from Trick, uh, Nick Tro uh, Troiano that was quoted in there saying, we got to hope for another miracle like Stan talking about a hedge funder who had given them uh, over half of, I guess, their or 40 percent of their annual budget last year in one check. Uh, the uh, the it, it, But that to me is also part of the grift. I mean. You know, these guys went on and I think it was I don't know if it was ask the it was uh, kick the can or fix the debt went on and did a Twitter uh, ask us anything. And they realized that there's no they don't have a single constituent other than a couple of hedge funders who are funding this thing. Yeah, I think I think I, I think it was fix the can actually, <laughs> fix the <laughs> or kick the or kick the fix. I don't know, but uh, yeah, they I mean they have they have they have no constituency in the country. What they have what they have is a mailing list and a couple of guys with a checkbook. Yeah, and 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 the money just keeps flowing. It's just, I mean, I, you know, um, I, I I vacillate between thinking. Uh, the left needs more money to uh, to carry this message to uh, from uh, between that and to it just it 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 has so sort of muddled what they're doing. It is is just created a a machine that where every cog in that machine is just like I'm going to do whatever puts as much cash in my pocket as possible, and the uh, everything else be damned. And, it, and it's fascinating to see it eat itself. It's a it, it's a perfect sort of example of how money really can destroy, um, uh, I guess, even as much as I don't agree with their policies, but uh, the, even even what they're trying to do on some level. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you are you eventually eventually you're beholden to whoever it is that's paying the light bill. <laughs> <laughs>